Hey, it's Jeffrey Kirk here. I'm going to go to my computer to show you what to do, but I want to give you a quick introduction first. Have you ever had that situation where someone tells you they sent you an email and you haven't seen it, so you go to your dreaded spam filter to take a look, and then, while you're looking for something very specific, you find something else that might be important? So that's what happened here. I'm looking for an email that I still didn't get, but I see a message that says, Notice of proposed settlement of class action. It looks suspicious, but what if it's legit? So I open it up. And as I'm glancing through it, my first thought is, seriously, April of 2010 to September of 2011, they're looking for Facebook users from that time? Wow. This is a class action for something that happened 11 to 12 years ago. But other than that, it looks legitimate, so I do a little extra research to confirm. And I found this site, which shows that actually the case details go all the way back to February of 2012. So it's just making really slow progress. Anyway, you might have gotten this email or you might get a notice in regular postal mail, but either way, you go to a settlement website to file your claim. And there's a link for that right down here. And here's the key point. This was in the email too, and it's probably in your letter or postcard if you got it through the mail. But this is where it's easy to read. If you're a person who, between April 22nd, 2010, and September 26, 2011, were a Facebook user in the United States who visited non-Facebook websites that displayed the Facebook Like button, you may be eligible for a payment from a class action settlement. So the first question you might ask yourself is, was I already a Facebook user by those dates? Well, let me clarify that for you. If you did receive this notice in mail or email, then it's already been determined that you were a Facebook user during that time. So you are potentially part of this settlement class. So that leads to your second question, which is, did I visit a non-Facebook website that displayed a Facebook like button? Because how the heck would you know that minor detail from a web page if it happened 12 years ago? But you can simplify the question down to, did you visit a non-Facebook web page? Because I'll tell you the answer. Unless you only go online to read email and visit Facebook, then you certainly visited websites with Facebook-like buttons. If you visited any business websites during that time, it is very likely you encountered a Facebook-like button. As a website developer and a business owner, I always wanted a Facebook-like button on my websites and client websites. If we could get social likes for our business websites and it cost us nothing, why not do it? So that's just to confirm if you ever visited the websites of businesses, then the odds are very, very great that you encountered a Facebook-like button. So if you were online at all during that time frame using anything other than email and Facebook and perhaps other social media, if you ever visited business sites, you probably encountered that like button. So you can go ahead and submit a claim. And to do that, all you have to do is click the submit a claim button here in the menu. Now, assuming you received your notice in the mail or email, you'll have a notice ID and confirmation code that you'll put down here. If you don't have a notice, you can click here instead. And I'll show you this one real quick. It gives you a form where you can fill out all your contact information. And this is the same, whether you clicked this button or you fill this out, you're going to get that same form. Now I'm going to fill out the left side because I have that email with the notice ID and confirmation code. So I'll show you this entire process. So first I'm going to go back to my email and it's right at the top. There's the notice ID, which I will copy and paste in here. And I'll grab the copy of the confirmation code as well. And paste in here. And then submit. So you see the same form. It's just filled in a little bit with the details that they already know about me. So then I need to fill in the rest of the information. And that's it. The only question I would have is the email address associated with the Facebook account. That may be different, but since it came automatically, then I'm going to make the assumption that Facebook already knows that that's the address I used at that point in time. 
Then I've got some details to fill out down here. Did I reside in the United States between these times? Absolutely yes. If you did not, then you would click no and you are ineligible for this class action. Do you currently have a Facebook account? I do. Enter all your usernames or URLs for Facebook accounts between this time. So my username, free B Kirk. Then you scroll down and choose your payment selection. You've got these five options you can pick from. I'm going to choose PayPal because I find that to be the most convenient of these, but you can look through them and make whatever decision you like best. But I'll click on this one. And then I have to enter my email address for my PayPal account. Click Next. And then get that verification code. And then click Verify. And now I can close. And the last thing I have to do is enter my name as my signature, date is already filled in, and click Submit. Then I get the final details, which I can print for my records. Well, that's it. You've got until September 22nd of 2022 to submit your claim. Good luck. Like most class actions that cross my desk, I assume there will be no payout whatsoever, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and end up with 35 cents in our PayPal accounts. Your business deserves to be seen online and I will help you get there. If online marketing and business improvement topics interest you, then please subscribe to my channel. And be sure to share this video to anyone who might need this type of information. Thanks for watching and have a great day.